The substantive subject matter in this week's parasha to Tzavir almost comes straight out of a fashion magazine. It tells us about the clothing, the design of the clothing of the high priests right through from headwear, through to the uh, tunic, right through to the bells and whistles at the bottom, everything. And it was really with great flair. And one wonders why this particular emphasis? And yet we have the well-known adage, clothing makes the man. Attributed to Mark Twain, but really goes back beyond Shakespeare and Erasmus and back to Homer himself in terms of that phrase. Clothing does make the person. You feel different in different sets of clothing. But at a more profound level, it's our spiritual clothing. The spiritual clothing of our thoughts, words and behaviours. That's the clothing of the soul. Thoughts are the undergarments. Words are the shirt, they're the pants. And when it comes to actions, that's our overcoat, the more external aspects. That's where mastery takes place. That's where the clothing makes the man in, indeed. And therefore, let me ask you, to what extent do you work on wearing fashion clothing for the soul?